Hey guys, firstly apologise for the little bit of a croaky voice, I'm a bit sick at the moment. Um, so at the moment my students are undertaking Genius Time projects and a few of them have decided to create their own websites to display their research. Um, and we've been having some conversations about um, that you can't just go on Google Images and you know find whatever image that you would like to use. You do need to go and find images that have a Creative Commons license which means the author has given you permission to reuse those photos in your way. Sometimes you can reuse them um, without, you know, saying who it's from or sometimes they do like you to do that. To be safe, I always just say who the image is from by um, using the web link and I always shorten it by using um, a Google web link shorter. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to find those images and how to credit the author on those images. A few of my students are using Wix, um, so I'm going to be showing them how to insert an image on Wix and also how to credit the author. These also can be applied um, to Edublogs every time you insert a photo that isn't yours and you haven't taken something that you found off the um, found off the internet, which does have a Creative Commons license. Um, this can apply to that as well, and you can insert the link under that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to find our images. So we're just going to do a good old Google search for CC search, which CC stands for Creative Commons. And you're going to go to the first one here. Once you've got that, you can see there's all different options. I always like to use um, Google Images and I also use Flickr quite a bit, but there is a few different options. Um, just for this example, I've created... Um, just a little thing to do with volcanoes so right now I'm going to look up types of volcanoes and I'm just going to type in caldera volcano and you click enter and you wait for it to load and it'll bring up a list of images that are safe to use. I like the looks of this one so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to visit the page. The reason why I'm visiting the page is it gives me the place where the image originally came from. So I've got a Google Shortener link up here. If you do not have one of those, you can just type in um, Google Link Shortener. Spell it correctly. It still comes up anyway, and it's the first one here. If you've got another one that you like to use, that's fine. Um, and what we are going to do is we're going to copy and paste this link, and we are going to put it into the shortener. The reason you do this is just because the link is a lot shorter and it takes a lot less space up. Um, so we're going to leave this open, we don't need to do anything with this now and we're going to go back to this image page. So you can see the image over here but obviously we don't want to copy that image so we are going to go back and this time we're going to go view image and I'm just going to save image as, let's call it Caldera volcano and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now that it's saved, we've saved the image, we've got our link shortener down here, we are going to go to Wix. Now as you can see here I'm on the home page at the moment so I'm just going to head to the page that I've created for Caldera. Now this is a blank page at the moment. Now what we have to do to add the image is we're going to go add over here and we're going to click on image. We're going to go upload and add your own images to your site. If we click on that, we will, it will come up with this browser. And we're going to go up here to the orange thing and we're going to click Upload Image. You will select your image. That's right. Click Open. And it's loading down here. Oh, that was pretty fast. And then you're just going to click on the image that you want to use and you're going to go Apply. And that will automatically put it on your website for you. Obviously, once it's on here, you can manipulate it. Um, to where you want it to go. I'm just gonna let's just pop it up here up the top. Now that's my image of the Caldera volcano. Obviously you can you know you can resize it and that as well if you want. So that's the image. Now what we have to do is we have to add the shortener to it. So we're just gonna go over here to the plus again and we're gonna go going to go add. But this time we're going to go text. Now I because it is crediting you don't necessarily want it to distract from the information or you know, whatever you're presenting on your site. I like to go a plain font just so that it doesn't 
you know, distract. So I'm just going to go classic title. You click on that and it'll place a box in here for you. I'm going to drag that under. And I'm going to click on edit text. First of all, I'm going to make it a bit smaller because once again, you don't want it to distract from your work itself, but you do still want to give credit. Um, not loving the grey, so let's just make that black. And I always like it in italics. And I'm going to write image via. Uh, so that just means where I got the image from. Now we're going to go back over to our URL shortener. We are going to copy this link. Depending if you're on a Mac, it says the commands there. Obviously, if you're on a um, Windows computer, you can highlight, right click and copy as well if you would like to. We're going to go back to our Wix page. And you are just going to paste the link down there and click exit and you're done. So it's as simple as that. This is an image, you know, that I found it works for what I like. And they have given license for it to be used. And I've also given them credit because it is their image. It's not my image. If it was your image, um, you obviously don't have to give credit. But you might want to pop down the bottom um that it was taken by you, just so people know it's taken by you. Now, using CC Search, it may be a bit harder. You may have to think about the words differently. You may not find the image that you want to find. But keep going, you will find one eventually. Now, obviously, this can be applied to Edger Blogs as well. Every time you just insert a photo, um, you can just add this little link below it or next to it. Well, um, I hope that little quick tutorial helped you. Um, if you any, ever forget, you know, what to do, come back to this tutorial and look at it. Um, well, I always use CC Search to get my Creative Commons license photos. I do recommend to use that one. So whenever you're doing a project, especially one that you are sharing online, um, I highly recommend using CC Search. And always remember to credit the author. Thanks, guys. See ya.